Hey everyone, I wanted to give you an update on the Kratky um, hydroponics method here. Uh, it's been a week since I started my seeds in these uh, mason jars. And so I just wanted to show you that we're starting to get some growth. Uh, so these seedlings or these seeds have started to get roots. They're starting to send, send up their little plants. Um, you can see maybe one here. It's kind of hard to get that camera lined up. Um, you can see one back there is another one. So they're getting their start here and all this is is water in these jars um, and these little net pots and wool. So the seeds are started in this called rock wool. You can go back and see the first video from last week. Um, just these little squares that you break off soak in water and put the seed right inside this little hole. Right inside that little hole. These go in little net pots. The net pots sit in water. The jars are pretty much filled um, so that the uh, growing medium is saturated. Um, so kind of like starting a uh, sprout, a seed sprout. Um, and now that they're starting to get some growth and popping up above the soil line there, I'm going to add in some nutrients. So they will need that since they don't have soil. Um, and then I will not top the water level off. So as the roots grow longer, the water level drops. That creates an air pocket for oxygen. So plants do need oxygen. They generally get it planted in the ground where there's uh, not just dirt but and moisture, but there's um, little air pockets uh, uh, for the plant to not suffocate. So if you've ever grown anything or grown a lawn and had a flood, the ground can get saturated so much that it suffocates the plants. So, um, and real quick, here is the little net pot that is sitting inside the top of each of these jars um, up there and that rock wool goes right inside with the seed in it. And then I just topped it with these um, little clay pebbles uh, that just help kind of hold in the, oops, hold in the moisture. So, so here we are, like I said, it's seven days, it's been one week and we have a little baby plant right there. Okay, so I will update again at least um, in another week and we'll see. Hopefully we'll have some some seeds or some seedlings sprouting up. And these are all lettuce. Uh, I think I have four or five different kinds of lettuces that I've started here. And currently, so since they've started to come above the um, pot, you know, they're starting to emerge. Before I didn't have the lights on. Now I have them under this bright white light that I use in my inexpensive seedling setup. Um, these are just bright white LEDs. I did just purchase or just receive some actual real grow lights. Well, it's the same brand. Um, here, let me see. So I just turned this one on on this bottom row. So as you can see, it's a full spectrum light. So I will probably do an experiment since I have about two, at least two of each variety here. I'll do um, one under the bright whites and one under the full spectrum and just see if there's any difference. I'm, I'm kind of not expecting anything with the uh, leafy greens, um, but we'll see. And then of course I'll do either a blog post or a video or both about that experience because I've been really happy with these bright whites for starting my seedlings. As you can see here. Um, it's pretty bright under there. Here's some uh, herbs. Here's some lettuces and chard. I have uh, kales and lettuce. Um, these are my pea microgreens that have just gone crazy. I've been trying to eat them, uh, but they're, so I've harvested quite a bit, about half of it. Um, but they're still going crazy. So anyway, I'll update next week 
and um, for now this is what I got going on so I'm pretty happy to see all that growth in there and fingers crossed this works and we'll see you soon